And, and we're talking kind of about the experience itself. Um, what I want to kind of ask you about is this concept of integration, which is something that's it's kind of a word that's been used a lot probably in the last few years when it comes to ceremonies and psychedelics. And it's something that I've been trying to integrate my experiences from the last year of you know having these massively profound experiences literally i had a list of like 10 commandments and this is what happens to me with ayahuasca unlike dmt or psilocybin i don't always get these distinct lessons but i do in ayahuasca and i write them down and even before the end of the ceremony i'm like reminded of each one of them and i'm reminding myself i'm not going to forget these and it's very specific but then i came back to london and i tell everybody here that we have a new mission with london real i go home to my wife and tell her honey i've seen who you're going to be in the future you know, and I've, I've seen who I need to be in the future. And then guess what? Then the laundry comes, right? There's a famous book after the ecstasy, the laundry. Yeah. And then I have to deal in a, in a world that is not what I've seen and is my reality. And I'm with a bunch of people that have not seen what I've seen. And now I'm integrating. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a lot of people say they get depressed yeah. after they come back from yeah. the ceremony because they've seen this and then the world isn't responding and they don't see it happening and they're like, wow, not only am I worse off than I was, but now I've seen something and I'm not there. And yeah. That was difficult for me. Yeah. Uh, and people around me because they kind of look at you like, mm -hmm. I can't imagine what it's like to have someone come back and say, Brian, guess what? I know who you need to be. And I'll be like, well, I don't know. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Well, it's a fascinating one, isn't it? And it's a major issue at the moment as psychedelic use is scaling up, you know, whatever, you know, the actual climate around legislation is just scaling up. People are more interested. More people are taking psychedelics. It seems that way. Yeah. So, uh, you know, um, thinking through the, the, the laundry aspect, you know, coming down and reintegrating in society is so critical and quite, you know, how we think about best accommodating that is a really important question. I, I recently discovered um, an organization, I think they're called Psychia, um, that are very much invested in, in this initiative to provide integration. Uh, in London, there's, there's a, a group, uh, the Psychedelic Integration Group, which was born out of our depression trial, actually, in, in, um, at Imperial. Some uh, uh, clinicians um, set up this integration group for people who've had you know, intense psychedelic experiences who then just need to process it with people who understand and can offer some degree of professional support, but also just a sharing circle. So that's great, that exists. But uh, I think Psychia, I, it's a kind of note to self because I really want to write to them, but um, are about scaling that up in, on an organizational level into something akin to Alcoholics Anonymous. You know, Sure, that's for problem drinking. Here we're not saying it's problem psychedelic use, but it, it's just the reality that psychedelic experiences need to be processed, even if they were hugely euphoric. Um, it all needs to be processed and, and integrated. And part of this, you know, makes me think of what will have happened when um, Buddhism took off, you know, and, 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 you know, this one guy under a tree realizes the way things really are. Um, and then is like, well, you know, now what do I do? And, and part of how that discipline and practice developed was that they realized that community is essential. And so you have the Sangha, you know, that if we're going to live according to a realization of the way things really are, you know, um, so Buddha and, and Dharma, uh, Dharma being the way things really are, um, then we need to live in a Sangha, in a community. And, and so that's how that developed. And I suppose there's a, there's a, is there a danger? I don't know. Well, there's a thing that could evolve with psychedelics where you have this community, this echo chamber community where everyone within it gets it, you know, what it is to lose the ego and and how that can be a very humbling experience um, and uh, important, you know, self-development and learning experience and beyond. <laughs> um, 
but uh, yeah, so what do we what do we do? You know, so you have these psychedelic societies that have popped up all around the world now, um, and they offer some kind of uh, community there. Um, I think mostly that's a good thing. I just think it's healthy to at least uh, question what can happen with that because you don't want it to become a closed space. You want that space to be porous and, and you want lessons that have been acquired here to, to transfer and translate into the so-called, you know, mainstream, other unturned on uh, world without some kind of, you know, hippies versus uh, the man kind of thing that happened in the 60s. Um, so, yeah, getting that, that right uh, seems essentially important. Thank you.